Well, I think we've been uh, working on several things, you know, over the last couple of games and the score hasn't quite gone our way, but every time I went back to have a look at film, I just got it really excited with things that we're doing, working out of our backfield, um, coming through our mids and sometimes even from our backfield being able to get straight to our forwards and tonight we had many opportunities on cage and I think we just made opportunities. Our forwards uh, held wide, they knew they were going to go man to man on us and it gave the first goal to Karen Mangus which was an absolute ripper uh, right down the, the guts. Um, you know, we knew that they were starting their second goalkeeper, which we didn't tell the girls, but we certainly went back and had a look at um, some film. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a hard situation when you don't have your regular goalkeeper in to probably organise them a little bit in the backfield. And I just thought our girls stuck to the game plan. And, you know, we knew they wanted to play a bit of a fast running game. And I sort of said to them, we can't break out of our style of play, which is making the ball do the work and make the other team chase it. So I was very proud um, in my head. And I didn't tell the, the team this that, you know, I thought if we can pull off um, our first CAA win, I think people will approach us a little bit different than just sort of saying, oh, you know, they're on a, <clears throat> not a, a losing streak, but I, I, I just thought that the girls set a statement and we're ready to approach the second half of our season with enthusiasm and excitement. So I'm pretty excited where we're going. You know, the coaching staff's been watching some film and, you know, Georgetown is in an awkward situation. They play on their football turf, but, you know, they've grown so much in the last two to three years. Their, their passing game has really, you know, stepped up about three to, to four levels. So, you know, it's a team that we can't underestimate. And, and again, you know, I think Longwood showed us the other night teams are going to respect us and if they can sit back off us a little bit and see if we make mistakes and capitalize on it then you know you can easily be down one goal so uh, trying to give some of the younger players a little bit more playing time which will help us with our legs and our recovery for next weekend because we again with conference play uh, we've got Hofstra on Friday night and then we're on the bus down to Davidson. So recovery is going to be important. And so we enjoy tonight. Um, and then we start all over again, just like we do every week. We take it game by game and we try not to get too far in front of ourselves. But, you know, I said it's an exciting way to start conference. And, you know, I'm proud of the girls for not, uh, you know, doubting what they what they can play with the last last couple of losses that we've had